Good morning! It is Wednesday and this morning has been nothing but testing. I have tested and tested and tested all morning, but I'm making progress, so that's good. I feel good about it. My kids have actually been doing really well this morning. I have started my morning meeting the last couple of days with growth mindset videos just to kind of get them thinking about their attitude and pushing forward and doing their best and not giving up because it is May and a lot of my kids you know are ready for summer they're ready to be done with school everyone's getting sick of each other they come in in the mornings with lots of energy and so we have been just kind of refreshing our memory of what a growth mindset is and that we need to keep trying our best even though it is close to summer we did that and i had my wise group this morning they actually worked on an independent activity while i did some testing and then we i had my kids take out their literacy journals and do a t-chart and at the top of one side they did an S and at the top of the other side they did a P. And we've talked about singular and plural words several times. So we're doing a review today and then tomorrow I will give them a task to work on. So we practiced that and then it was time for lunch. So they're at lunch now. I'm gonna go eat some lunch myself. I am meeting with my grade level today because we have to get some second opinions or I have to get second opinion on a couple of the writing from this morning from the testing just to make sure I am, you know, scoring it correctly. Plus, if it's over a P, then we have to get someone from our grade level to initial it. So I have a couple of those as well. So I'm gonna go eat some lunch. When they get back, we're gonna talk about the life cycle of a frog and do a little activity with that, which I'm excited about, and I think they will be too. And then my kids have art today. So if I get a chance, I'll touch base with you guys during my planning. I don't think I will, but I'll see what I can do. And if not, then I will see you guys later. I'm just looking at your pretty coloring. Ooh, that looks good. So is this like gonna be one of those knife cycle things? You like you put a pin through it and then you could like twist it? Mm -hmm. So I wanted to show you guys our insect posters. I had taken 20 different insects put their name on a little piece of paper, stuck it in a bag, and then my students drew one out, and the one that they drew out is the one that I gave them information on, like just, you know, a little bit of research printed out from Google or whatever about their insect, and they had to find two facts that they thought were interesting about their insect, and then draw it on a poster, label the head, thorax, and abdomen, and then add those two facts. So I have them hanging out in the hall. They look really good. So I wanted to show you guys what they look like. to leave. I have a sub tomorrow because I'm going on the field trip with the first graders 
and Paisley tomorrow, which I was just telling the custodian that I've never been on a field trip where I wasn't the teacher, so that's going to be kind of nice. I'm excited. Her class is going to the Arboretum, and so I have a sub. My principal said that it was fine that I got a sub so that I could go on her trip with her. So I'm going to show you my sub plans. So I leave this basket and on top I have some pencils and some sticky notes and then all of my sub information. So like need to know, potential drills, um, we're collecting field trip money right now, our morning routine, uh, things kids do when they come in and then this is where we kind of start our day. So we have our morning meeting literacy blog. I usually do rotations for that, but just to keep things simple when I have a sub, I just have everybody doing the same thing. So read to self for 15 minutes, writing for 15 minutes, read to someone for 15 minutes, and then they do a whole group lesson for 30 minutes. And then we have our small group, and then lunch, science, PE, math, recess, math intervention groups, pack up dismissal and then and then down here at the bottom I have a little section for my sub to let me know which students went above and beyond and which students I need to have a talk with and then just a blank sheet for some other comments and I have my seating chart which I think I showed you guys before and then some collection envelopes okay I got your seating there. chart and then I have everything in this basket in the order that they do it. So I have their Scholastic News with their pages in there. I have books and worksheets for my independent group. I have books and worksheets for my, my personal group. I have math packets here. They're just review. It's a spiral review for different things that we've done this year and it's I think I've got eight pages and then their aunt awesomeness book and then back behind there I have their math intervention work and I just did a sample there so my sub could see how my students may solve the problem and that is it so everything is nice and neat and in order so she can just go through here and see everything as she needs it. And there's Gosh, Paisley. Awesome. Doesn't she look like a hot mess? She's been outside playing. Oh, and then I leave pencils because they always need those. Look at this. This is game and it says it's supposed to be four and up, but I absolutely love it and I'm seven. I feel pretty good about my sub plans tomorrow and I have a pretty good sub so so we are getting ready to head out look at Paisley's watermelon I think they've even grown just from today look how big they are and I hope the oh that one looks like it might be doing something these are doing okay so yeah, we're gonna be on a field trip tomorrow. We're super excited about it. And I don't know if I'll be able to film, probably not. But if I don't see you guys tomorrow, then I will definitely see you guys on Friday. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Be sure to click on the thumbs up button down below to let me know if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos from me in the future. And I will see you guys Friday. Bye. Are you going to say bye?